Hey guys, today we will be discussing weight transfer. What is it and how can you effectively use it when on the raceway? Before we talk about how to efficiently use weight transfer, we need to talk about precisely what it is and how it affects the car. A common misconception is that weight transfer is a result of body roll and that preventing body roll will help eliminate weight transfer. Although limiting body roll will help stabilize the car, body roll has a very minimal effect on how weight is spread across the car. Instead, the main force causing weight transfer is in fact inertia. Inertia is simply the fact that matter resists change in direction. The easiest way for me to explain inertia is that the center of mass of any vehicle will be higher than the center of traction. This is because the contact between the tires and the road will always be the lowest point. When braking, the center of mass will resist the change in motion, causing it to theoretically move forward on the car. Likewise, the center of mass will move backward under acceleration. Now that we understand what is causing weight transfer, it's easy to see where the weight of the car will be in a variety of situations. Something important to note is when more weight is placed on a specific tire, that tire gains traction. Similarly, a tire loses traction when weight is removed from that specific tire. Looking at each tire as though it were on scales, it becomes easier to see how the traction changes under different conditions. Under braking, weight transfers forward. This is why braking systems are much more aggressive on the front tires of vehicles. When you accelerate, weight transfers to the rear tires, explaining why many sports cars are rear-wheel drive. Weight transfer can help improve both entry and exit speed, so utilizing it is crucial to get the fastest track times. When entering a corner, you may experience understeer, where you would use slight brake pressure to force the front tires back into the track. When exiting a corner, if you begin to oversteer, you can simply apply a light throttle to place weight on the rear tires, forcing them to maintain traction with the road. Although weight transfer can be helpful, it can also hurt your car's performance just as easily. If you press the accelerator too early, it's easy to encounter understeer as the weight transfers off the front tires. Moreover, while braking, if you turn too quickly, the light rear tires may lose traction causing aggressive oversteer. We can see by looking at these scenarios that weight transfer is an overall important skill to realize and use when racing. If you want to see more techniques on how to use these tools efficiently to gain a faster lap, be sure to watch my videos on both trail braking and lift off oversteer. As always, I encourage you guys to push the limit and find what you are truly capable of when driving. See you next time, guys!